Good morning, guys. Mm. Oh my God, that's perfect. Emma Chamberlain Coffee. She's my new favorite coffee brand. She's one of my favorite YouTubers too. I mean, I've got it all folded up. It's been in my other vlogs. Plus, how cute is this pink coffee bag? My goodness. Emma Chamberlain Coffee, Elmhurst Walnut Milk. I will link this below because it's just life-changing. Ingredients, filtered water, walnuts. It's so good. I actually just ordered myself another pack. And then just an absolute ton of cinnamon and ground nutmeg. Oh, this is the stevia that I use. This is my favorite stevia to use in like matcha and coffee. Every now and then I'll put it in my smoothie, but not really. I'll find this online and I'll link it below too. That's a good stevia. I have to work at 6.30 this evening. It's already almost two. I stayed in bed until 1 p.m. No shame. I kept hitting snooze, laid there. Have you ever felt so tired? It feels like you're at the bottom of an abyss with redwood tree trunks tied to your limbs holding you to the bottom of the ocean. That's how I felt in my bed. I worked 14 hours yesterday. If you watched my last vlog, you know. And I was like, I felt so much guilt being in the bed. I didn't go to bed until after two which is still a long time to be in bed, but I just couldn't do it. My body couldn't get up. So I was like, you know what? Just sleep until you feel the urge to get out of the bed. And I did, but now I'm ready to start my day. I have a two day trip starting today. My company is offering triple pay right now. So I was like, you know what? No excuses, pick up. Tomorrow is gonna be another super long day, but tonight I do one flight to Tampa. I am going to pack all of my own food for this trip. I'm not going to eat out. So I'm gonna share that in this vlog. And I just need to, right now, organize my plates, get it all situated so that I can go to the store and get ready and get everything I need when I need to. I have it all done and ready for me so I'm not stressed. So that's starting now. While I drink my coffee and get geared up to do it, I'm watching Lauren Geraldo's YouTube channel. I really like hers, Lauren Geraldo. She's awesome. She's a big YouTuber. She's got like a million subscribers. And yes, unfortunately, that is Revolve on my computer because they're having a big sale right now. And I just wanted to peek around and peruse and see what's on the sale. Anyway, all right, I gotta hurry up. Oh my goodness, my hair looks hilarious. Okay, I'm back home. Let me, you know what? Ah! I have to request an Uber here in 15 minutes. So I went to Trader, no, I did not go to Trader Joe's. I went to Whole Foods. And part of the reason I went to Whole Foods is because a few of my very, very, very special subscribers got me a Whole Foods gift card. and. It was Joe, um, I don't know how to pronounce your last names and I don't wanna butcher it so I won't say it, but Joe and he said he got a few others to chip in and I am I was speechless when I got the email. He had mentioned that he was gonna do it and I thought it was super sweet but then when I actually got the email I was like wow, this is just beyond generous. You know what, my dryer is so loud. Let me close this door. I can't believe it. I. I don't even know what to say other than thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is my absolute pleasure making these videos for you guys. I genuinely enjoy it. I love talking to y'all in the comments. It makes my day every time I read them and get a new one. And I'm just kind of like shocked. So my food tonight and tomorrow is compliments of some of you guys. And thank you so, 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 so much. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to me. I'm just like, ugh, I, I, I wish I, there was like another way, and I'll try to find a way to pay it back, other than to continue to make videos, which I'm going to be doing. But I, I really just don't know what else to say other than thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, 
Now you guys get a little haul. Well, I knew this would happen. One of the things I put in my backpack, I threw it all in my backpack, is this persimmon, 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 I never know if I'm saying it right, but it got smashed by one of the things in the back. I wanna eat this in the morning, so I'm just gonna wrap it up in a paper towel. I got two of them. Now, I had to get pre-made stuff because the tea had me super delayed, which stinks. Uh, they only had one train running. I planned on coming back here and cooking up something for myself, but I literally had zero time to do that. So instead, I got a bunch of pre-made stuff for tonight and tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go over quickly everything I got. So for tonight, I'm going to eat. <laughs> it's not pretty anymore because it's been tossed all over. But this spicy tuna avocado roll. I got some smart sweets because I'm going back on, now that the holidays are almost over, I'm going back to low carb, no sugar. I absolutely stocked up, since it was a gift card, I made sure to get the best use of it and stock up on a few things. I stocked up on dang bars. These are my new absolute favorite bars. These dang bars. This one's my favorite flavor, the almond one. I'm going to pack three. I got peanut butter, almond cookie, lemon matcha, and then chocolate. So I'm gonna bring peanut butter, lemon matcha, and almond cookie, put the rest in here. I got toothpaste because I was out of toothpaste. I need to pack that with me. I got this Rebel protein drink for tomorrow. These are super filling and really convenient and really tasty. So I got that for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a long day. Um, I stocked up on more bone broth packets. You guys, I'm so obsessed with these. I've been drinking these almost every single day at work. I got two coffees for tomorrow, one for the morning, one to get me through the halfway point of the day. I got this Bulletproof cold brew latte. This might be my morning drink. And then I got this Rebel one. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Rebel. And so I was really excited to try this coffee. It says it supports immunity. It has L-theanine, MCTs, um, lion's mane, and reishi, which is medici medicinal mushrooms that are really good for your immune system. And it has, it has oat milk in it. And yeah, vanilla latte flavor. So I'm really excited to try this. This will be like my halfway treat. I brought some berries with me because I'm gonna put that in a to-go box actually, or a little Tupperware container and bring this, where is it? This yogurt for breakfast. Pomegranate seeds, did I say that? That'll be for the yogurt. I got an Olipop for myself tomorrow. I'm all about treats when it comes to really long days at work because it's something to look forward to and it really helps me get through the day. I got this toothbrush. I've been using these Tom's toothbrushes for years and I needed a new one, so there it is. Um, I got the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. I've been using this stuff for years as well. There's nothing else like it. This is the best face scrub. And then for tomorrow's dinner, like I said, pre-made stuff, but it's just convenient and I'm really crunched on time. I have to request my Uber literally in five minutes, but I got this Caesar salad pre-made from Whole Foods, so it's one less thing I have to worry about is cooking food. Everything will just be nice and ready for me. Throw in my reusable little items. And then the last thing I got, y'all, I stocked up on more bone broth. Bone broth is just essential for me in the winter time. So I have all kettle and fire products. I got this coconut curry one, mushroom bisque, Turmeric ginger, they were on sale too at Whole Foods. And then if you have a Prime membership, you get an extra 10% off. Butter chicken, this is a keto one, so it has extra fat in it, which helps it be extra filling. Mushroom chicken, I love bone broth, y'all. It's just so filling. Um, and mushroom bisque again. So, and they're shelf stable, and you can just heat them up and have them in a pinch they're so good and good for you good for your gut collagen protein healthy fats like i love it all right y'all oh i forgot i also i have pecan pie i'm gonna put some of that in a to-go container and take that with me because it was a gift from someone and i love pecan pie and i really want to enjoy it while i'm working hard tomorrow and tonight so let me throw all of this in my bag and be on my merry way I'm really hoping there's not traffic at the airport.
flamingos. They're so cute. Me too. Oh yeah. The flamingos. I made it to Tampa. My nose is all red from my mask rubbing off my makeup there. But I'm in Tampa. What a what like an emotional roller coaster of a night. So first things first, I noticed that we didn't have a number two flight attendant. There are three positions on this flight. We didn't have a number two. We get to the airport, it's report time. It's time to board, still no number two. So they were able to grab a girl who was supposed to work a West Palm Beach flight that was delayed and sent her over to our flight. Mind you, there's a lot of, this isn't like a one airline thing, this is all airlines right now. A lot of flights are unfortunately canceling and airlines are having to scramble with re-crewing flights because there's a, there's a shortage of staff right now because a lot of people are getting sick right now and obviously they're not gonna come to work sick because it's just not safe. So everyone's struggling with that right now. <sighs> it's kind of just really chaotic. I mean, this has been happening at like other airlines have been having to unfortunately cancel flights, not to mention it's just holiday travel too. On top of it, things are kind of wild. Um, all right, so I am in the middle of editing this vlog and the sound when I'm telling the story of like what happened is all messed up, so I'm just gonna redo it now. Basically, once I got to Tampa, started walking through the airport, saw that my flight the next morning was canceled. So after that, we were supposed to fly from Tampa to Boston and then do a Fort Lauderdale turn. Obviously, if that flight first flight's canceled, we can't do the Fort Lauderdale turn. So that's basically what I was trying to say. <clears throat> So I'm just chilling and I'm waiting here. I still have, our van time is still supposed to be 10.45 tomorrow. It's 11 something now, maybe 12. I'm gonna put on my pajamas, wash my face, brush my teeth, put my food in the fridge. Then I'm gonna start editing my last vlog because I wanna get that up as fast as possible for y'all. But here I thought this was just gonna, I mean, I had a feeling something could happen on this trip. I just wasn't sure. Now I just wait and see what happens with us tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs> hmm. Good morning. Oh good, it kept my stuff cold without freezing it. I'm gonna take my shots. So, it's very late. Guys, tell me why I've been sleeping in so late today or the past couple days. It's 11 something. My schedule is so wild like some mornings. I'm waking up at like 530 in the morning to start the day And then some days I'm sleeping until like 11 something. This is the Acerola shot mm. Needless to say I was supposed to be on an airplane today. And this is the turmeric shot. I have the ginger one But I'm gonna do that later. I'm supposed to be on an airplane today. I Do wish I woke up earlier. Let's see. I went to bed at like One something. I don't know why I stay in the bed so long. So they canceled our flight I woke up to them changing our schedule and they changed it to, I work on the E-190 now. Look at my hair. Up to JFK. Sit in JFK for five hours to deadhead on an 11 something PM flight. And it says we don't get in until like one o'clock in the morning in Boston. So we're actually getting in later, but I don't have to work all these flights today. So that's nice, but I would like to go home earlier. It's nice that I don't have to work as, as long of a day. I only have to work one flight. I'm just wondering if there's like any way to get home quicker instead of having to sit in New York for five hours. Now they might, they technically, we're supposed to get a hotel if we have a sit for over five hours and it is over five hours our sit. So I'm gonna call and see if they can give us a hotel and fingers crossed, they might be able to get us the TWA hotel. We'll see. But with all these flights being canceled, I don't know if it's gonna be full or not. I'll call and see what I can do. It's nice outside though, and I'm gonna go for a walk. Don't really know what else to do with myself. Tampa is such a funny layover for me. I used to come here. I used to come here all the time when I was on reserve. I like lived in Tampa. I did this layover so much. We stayed at a different hotel and I liked that hotel better. Um, this one, this is a double tree. The thing about this hotel is like it has a pool, 
but the pool is always in the shade always anyways it's in the 70s and it's sunny out so uh, there is this one place i could uber to and enjoy my morning and walk around it's like a ten dollar uber there and a ten dollar uber back so i don't know if it's worth it or not or if i should just or if i should just hang out here there's not really much around here let me change though and figure it out i'm on hold with my like crew scheduling people right now uh, i'm just gonna get dressed and i think i'm just gonna walk to the mall instead of like get an uber to the downtown area but i'm just gonna throw on some sunscreen this is like funny to me i have had i just spilled coffee all over the floor wow I'm a mess right now. I'm drinking my Bulletproof coffee. It's good. I'm wearing just like Aritzia leggings. I'm so pasty from getting no sun. And this like cropped Montreal top that I got from some like vintage shop on Poshmark or something. And then my hokas. Nothing cute. I mean, I like this top, but yeah. And then I have cords for headphones because I left my AirPods at home. Anyway, I want to get back here at like 2. So I want to walk for like a good 2 hours before it's time for me to come back and get ready for work. I'm going to walk. It's called the International Mall. I'm going to walk over there. So funny. So when I came in last night, they told me to follow the cookies. You see them? To get to my elevator because it's like so complicated to figure out where the elevator is here. So they have these little cookie stickers. And you follow the cookies to get to the elevator. <laughs> all right guys, I am all ready for work. Just working one flight up to JFK and then hanging out in JFK for a while. I basically just walked around the mall, which I really, I gotta admit, I really don't like malls. It's just not my vibe, but I just wanted to walk. It's not very, it's not like a walkable area where I am. So the mall was like my best bet. I didn't buy anything. I just, I never shop at malls anymore. Maybe like I'll go into a Sephora or something, but other than that, maybe if there's an Aritzia there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not my thing, but yeah, one flight up to JFK, then hang out for five hours. Hopefully get to Boston by 1 a.m. I'm hoping everything goes as planned. Really hoping. All right. Off I go. All right guys, I am currently editing the video like I said earlier. I didn't end up doing an outro once I got home because I got home so late. It was, by the time I was like here changing into pajamas, settling, I forgot to do an outro and I was just, it was like two o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna do it now. That last day actually shockingly went smoothly. Everything went on time. So from Tampa to New York, we just hung out in the crew lounge in New York, which actually it went by pretty fast. It went by faster than I expected it to. And then thankfully the flight went out on time from JFK to Boston. I do have to give a little shout out. I don't even, I don't think he knows I have a YouTube channel, um, but I ran into a crew member. His name is Kyle. He was trying to commute up to Boston, or no, he was trying to commute up to JFK on my flight. He got on the flight, but he was in line with me. I ended up going to Chick-fil-A just because I wanted like a small snack. And so he got my Chick-fil-A for me, which was the sweetest thing ever, just randomly. He's only been at my company for two years and he's still on reserve right now. Uh, he had gotten a line for January, but a line means like a normal schedule but i just thought that that was the sweetest thing he just did it randomly i was like i should be buying you chick-fil-a you're the one that's like on reserve that's got it kind of rough right now and he was like no 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 i insist i won't take no for an answer i want to get your chick-fil-a blah 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 such a sweetheart such a sweetheart kyle jfk based lives in tampa angel anyway that made my day <laughs> And the flights went well. Everyone was super nice on all the flights, but that was my last trip of 2021. What a year, guys. 
what a year it's wild to think that I've done like a full calendar year of vlogging now so I've been vlogging for almost basically like a year and a half so crazy a couple like a couple blips of a couple pauses in there but other than that yeah wild anyway guys if you're new here hi welcome to my channel my name is vera you can follow me on instagram at balanced flyer if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe if you could do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up because it really supports the video supports my channel and please 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 say hello in the comments i want to know how you guys are celebrating new year's i'm really curious my new year's is a little chaotic right now i don't know what's gonna happen because I had all these plans and things are getting a little crazy because of certain circumstances, if y'all know what I mean. So I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But anyway, it's in like a few days, a couple days, something. I don't know, everything's a blur. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any plans or if you're staying in and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.